Looks like you guys really like the new Convergent Pokemon forms and well today we'll be taking a look at some of the coolest Paul Bay and Pokemon and giving them a what if Convergent form for the upcoming Generation 10 Pokemon games. All these designs were created by the superb artist Andu Region. Their links will be in the pinned comments down below. But with that let's get things started with our first Convergent Pokemon, an alternate variant for this little coin collector. Meet Gimme Coco, the fairy type gingerbread. Pokemon. Now just like the original variant, this Pokemon has two forms. This one being the roaming form where it has the signature ability Sugar Rush, which prevents it from ever falling asleep. It's also known for having an insane amount of energy due to having a, well, sugar high. Because of this, it can never stand still, which I can totally relate to, and can always be found fidgeting and running around in circles. Again, I feel attacked. Now its other form is its house form, where it has the ability Sticky Hold, and instead of using sugar for energy, this form likes to store it, almost like a candy collector. And this form also has been known to be somewhat of a crazy hoarder. But this unique Pokemon doesn't stop here. Instead it has two branch chain evolutions depending on which form your Gimme Coco is in. Now, if it's in its house form and you trade 999 candies for bitter sweets, then it'll evolve into Gogoa, the haunted bread Pokemon. This Pokemon has its gingerbread house possessed by a spirit, and with that has its own unique signature ability being Frosting Cover, which covers this Pokemon with frosting that makes it immune to all status afflictions. It's also said to be an extremely greedy Pokemon who's always looking for more candies to snatch away from those little tiny gimme cocos and it even sometimes sets up a trap with its tongue to trick them into walking in and never being seen ever again. But what about the roaming form? Well if you trade 999 candies for a golden ticket well then you'll get a Chao Kogo, the fairy psychic type Candyman Pokemon. This Pokemon is just as cool as Golden Go, if not a bit cooler let's be honest. And it's got not one, but two brand new signature abilities being one Rainbow Sugar, which doubles this Pokemon's speed in Misty Terrain, and its hidden ability Piece of Cake, which if it defeats a Pokemon, it increases all of its stats by one stage. However, it only works once per battle. An exceptionally creative and unique Pokemon for a reward such as collecting 999 candies, that's for sure. Its Pokedex entry also says that its body appears to be made out of 1,000 molten candies and sometimes it drops a trail of candies while surfing. How does it surf you ask? Well psychically of course and these Pokemon are chock full of energy that they can move without ever needing to rest. Definitely a Pokemon for you if you've got a sweet tooth. Now moving on to this candy apple Pokemon's brand new variant, see what I did there? And that's Paplin, the ground dragon type potato core Pokemon. Now I'm including this Pokemon as a Paul Bayan convergent form because one of the evolution lines we're going to be showcasing is an exclusive to Paldea, so relax. With that, this Pokemon is also known to absorb nutrients from the soil so that its potato grows nice, big, and juicy, which is a good thing when you want to protect yourself from predators. It's also somewhat of a lazy Pokemon and often mimics Pokemon like Diglett and hides its body underneath the ground. Now this Pokemon has three branched evolutions and the first one we're looking at is Flappapa the potato wing Pokemon. You evolve into this Pokemon when you give your Paplin french fries, which comes to think of it is kind of cannibalistic, isn't it? Anyway, this Pokemon has a unique signature ability being winged, which lets this Pokemon become immune to ground type attacks and increases the damage of all its flying type moves by 50%. Its Pokedex entry says that this Pokemon secretes oily acids from its pores and can release a ton of oil from its wings when it flaps them. Doing so also raises its internal body temperature, making the released oil reach boiling levels of heat. So step back and watch out. Its next evolution is if you give your Paplin a baked potato because why not? Well then it'll evolve into Papleton, the mashed potato Pokemon. And man, I'm gonna be honest, this is totally making me hungry. This Pokemon does give off a delicious scent which makes it sought after by many predators. However, that creamy cover which is on its back acts as a defense mechanism making anyone who tastes it fall into a food coma which helps this Pokemon survive from being hunted down and eat 
eaten to extinction. And that brings us to our final evolution in this chain, and that's Graplin, the caramelized potato Pokemon, which you get when you give your Paplin a gravy potato. I've actually never had a gravy potato. Let me know in the comments if that's a good one and I should try it out. Anyway, this Pokemon has its own unique signature ability, and that's well-baked aroma, which has the 30% chance of being activated during battle. And when it does activate, it pretty much acts similarly to the move Follow Me, forcing all opponents to direct their attacks to this Pokemon. A competitively interesting ability, that's for sure. But just like its Pulled Bayon counterpart, this evolution also has its own evolution where it evolves into Hydrados. <laughs> Probably one of the coolest names out of the bunch. After learning the move Dragon Cheer at level 44, this Pokemon gets an additional signature ability being the brand new Hot Potato, which halves the damage from all ice type attacks and increases the power of all fire type attacks made by the user of this ability by 50%. And with that, it is easily becoming a convergent Pokemon I definitely need to see happen in Generation 10. That's all I'm saying. Now for its Pokedex entry, it says that this Pokemon is driven by an insatiable hunger and its central head is always alert to command the several serpents within the potato, four of them being responsible for lifting and movement while the other to remain hidden and ready to attack their prey by surprise. Now let's check out the convergent form found in Paldea, right? But based on a Pokemon that is originally from Kanto. And that's Laprish, the dragon poison type dragon slug Pokemon. This Pokemon is one trainers have to be very careful with since it's often confused with Lapras. And because of that, trainers unknowingly jump on their backs. However, when they do so, they are met with a painful rash that runs all over their body for days at a time. Laprish are attracted to the poisonous smell that some Pokemon excrete since it is their favorite food source. And all the poison consumed are accumulated in the bulbs on their backs. Then once they have concentrated enough of it, they can release it through the tips of their fins. And it's said in doing so, their poison can often be lethal. But you know what Pokemon this Laprish gets along with tremendously? Well, that's this regional variant of Spritzy, of course. But if you want to know more about this Pokemon and other brand new regional variants for Generation 10, well then check out this video here next.